en, en sus historias, el manejo del tiempo es muy importante. ¿Cómo hace para encontrar el tiempo justo para contar sus historias? I have no stories. No tengo historias. I never, I never, uh, I never haunted the story. Okay, you know, I, I just always said, okay, now I, you know, one film is generated from the other. And, you know, and film by film, you find new questions, new problems. You meet with new people. And you never know when you get some uh, something which is inspiring you, and when you just found some new things and pushing you to do a movie. And it's it's not a question, you know. I want to say something, and the next word is this, and the next word is this. No, it's coming. It's coming because you are reacting. You, maybe you just see someone's face on the street and you said, okay, fuck, I have to follow this. And you know, because the main issue is it could be in the smallest piece. It's a question of your sensibility. If you are able to touch it and hear it, in this case, you can grow it up. But it's, it's really not, uh, I do not want to create stories, that's true. A veces, aquí en México estamos acostumbrados a una cinemática muy diferente. Los jóvenes mexicanos, a través de la piratería del mercado ilegal, están rescatando muchos cineastas como usted. ¿Cómo, cómo es este...? Este sería un acto como de resistencia. ¿Cómo ve el cine, su cine, frente al gran aparato? Hasta la hegemonía estadounidense. Ayer preguntaba en la función que no se tradujo que si alguna vez no pensó dedicarse a cantante de rock, sino a un rockstar de blues o de blues el gospel no gospel I cannot sing you, you know? I no, cannot no, sing you. Okay. No, pero la voz, okay, la voz. Guy, I cannot <laughs> sing you. I can't be rock, pop, or blues. Okay. Well. Blues cantante. Two questions. Very specific ones. In this sense that in Mexico, we do not get a lot of films, or it's difficult to get them. Las conocemos por los críticos. We know them because of the critics. Algunos de ellos ven Some en sus películas obsesiones por la forma. For the for the form. El que ve o okay. qué ha aportado. Or what have you provided with your films? What has been your input with your films? No input, no output. 
Pues la verdad me he aportado y he desforzado. Son solo películas. Solo películas. Motion pictures. Then, then you can see some, some people and their eyes. And how they are fighting for the life, and how they love, how they die. You know, that's that's the main issue. And when you meet with the reality, and when you meet with some real situation, you you are not a filmmaker anymore. You are just a simple human being and you just want to understand and you need your empathy to understand the other man because you are with him or her. And I don't care about the feeling. I don't care about uh, the fame. I don't care about anything. I just have to show. You know, it's, it's pushing me. To, to show you, share it, what I see, I want to share it with you. And I don't care about any systems, I don't care about these circumstances, because these circumstances will be over. You know what is wonderful? You could see here my first movie, which it was made 34 years ago. And it's still, uh, and the, the young people are watching. They are younger than the movie, much younger. And they are watching, and they are open. And everything is really doesn't matter when you can see these people who is watching, and when you can see the people on the screen. And that's all. Él en sus películas retrata mucho lo humano. En sus películas, él portrayó la parte humana de las cosas naturales. Hablaba del ojo del caballo. Estaba hablando del ojo del caballo, por ejemplo. Y en cambio, la sociedad donde estamos como obsesionados por la tecnología, que es cara, que es sofisticada, pero el contraste entre lo que retrata en sus películas y lo que está pasando en una parte de la sociedad, con su vista. In your films and what is happening with what one part of the society? First of all, the society is our society. We did it together, including me. And uh, when I show you something, I just wanted to show you something which is more eternal, more universal, or more general. Not not listening for the daily stupidities, you know. I really do not want to watch in the stock exchange. I really do not want to watch in what is happening in the, uh, in the business. You know how it goes, the currency up and down. And I really don't listening for these technical steps because the next week when I learned uh, I should put it in garbage because the next week they put me a new one. And no reason to listen and do listen for the main thing. The main thing is always happening between two words. And the word is personal. A very simple, stupid. Example. I hate the fast food. I hate the hamburger. But they put you to your mouth. Just don't be hungry. I prefer the handmade, homemade, family dinner. But when we are together and you can feel somebody's personality, you can feel. Uh, the, the love of the mother, how she is cooking with her heart for you. The film is like this. I am doing a homemade, <laughs> handmade movie for you with my heart. I don't care about the others, okay?
Por si quiere abandonar este arte. to protect some young filmmakers you know, because they are sometimes they are shy they are, they are not experienced they are weak and they need some help no they they need some help they don't need help what they need it's kind of umbrella you know just to protect them, this fucking ugly film industry shit. When, uh, when they are always attacking the directors to do this or this or this. No, it's if I'm a producer, they can be free, they can do what they want. But, uh, and I will tell the bankers and the other stupid people, okay, relax, relax, wait, wait, wait. That's that's the real good producer's job, you know? Just to listen for the director and save him. That's if you are a producer. That's all. You have to find the money, and you have to listen for the money because the film has to be ready on the time and in the budget. But the otherwise. You have to protect the freedom of the filmmaker. I know well because I was a filmmaker. I know what the filmmaker needs. If si tuviera una, digamos, una vez mismo tener una jubilación o mucho más tiempo de ocio. If you were not retiring or you had to No, I'm not retiring. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a tired man. I'm not retired. Ni me voy a retirar. No, fuck. Ni a la goma. No. I'm not retired. Refuse this word. Bueno, odio esa palabra. Me resisto a la palabra jubilado. Okay. Con más tiempo de ocio, ¿qué libros me faltan por leer? Which are those books that you still want to read? I have a mountain of books that you want to read for a long time and you haven't had the time. I have mountains of books next to my uh, uh, bed. The other mountains of scripts in my office and the other mountains of, uh, 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 of musics, CDs, and discs, and films. And if I just watching reading in the next three years, in this case, I think I have no more debt. No, I have a really huge debt. And I don't know how can I fulfill Really. Do you think that art is our piece of paradise here on earth? Art. Art. I don't know what is the art. Okay. Okay. Of course, the sun's art. But uh, the question is always, you know, the form. Someone could touch something, it became a the other dance just touching. It's never begin. It's really, it's, I, that's why I don't know what is the art. And hundred percent true, somewhere, somehow, somewhere, it's a kind of art. But I don't know how we make it the art, because the art is just born. You cannot force it. No se puede forzar.